Hi, today I'm going to be talking about the most important things to think about for health span and longevity. Hint, it's not about the cholesterol. And it's coming right up. When you're considering how to live long and healthy life, you really have to understand what diseases are the most likely to cause problems. Two diseases are by far and away the most important. Heart disease and stroke, which together comprise cardiovascular disease, is the biggest cause of death, and cancer is very close behind. And everything else, which goes down to chronic respiratory diseases and Alzheimer's, is really much less important what contributes to cardiovascular disease. This is an analysis from 112 cohort studies uh, in 34 countries, uh, so over 1.5 participants. And you can see that the really the most important disease for death is diabetes by a long shot. You can see here that if you have diabetes, then you are at between three and four times the risk of death and also cardiovascular disease. Smoking is also a very important um, modifiable risk factor, but we all knew that. But however, look at cholesterol. You know, it's just not that important. If you look at it, there really is no significant rise in uh, the, the rate of death with high cholesterol. So therefore, lowering your cholesterol might be important, but it's not that important, especially not compared to things such as smoking, type 2 diabetes, and high blood pressure to a lesser extent. If you have type 2 diabetes, you are about 10.7 times more likely to have heart disease. So therefore, if you can prevent or reverse type 2 diabetes, that is extremely important. Metabolic syndrome, hypertension, obesity are also important. Smoking obviously is a very important risk factor, but down here you have the so-called bad cholesterol, which is LDL. So for all that we obsess about taking drugs to lower cholesterol, it really is a much less important factor, um, and type 2 diabetes is really 9 or 10 times more important than LDL cholesterol. So for all the thinking we do about cholesterol, how much of a benefit are these drugs, these statins, to, uh, to take to lower our cholesterol? Well, in the British Medical Journal in 2015, they did a, 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 an analysis of how much you would be expected to live longer if you were to take the statins for primary prevention, that is, if you hadn't had a heart attack or stroke. And the results were quite uh, startling, actually, uh, because taking a statin did, in fact, extend your life expectancy, but how much? And the median is 3.2 days. So if you take a drug to lower your uh, cholesterol and you live to 80 years old, you might extend it by taking that drug to 80 years and 3.2 days. So not exactly a very important risk factor. Contrast that to type 2 diabetes, which comprises most of diabetes. You can see from this graph that, for example, if you are a 50, 40 or 50 year old man, you would be expected to lose about six years of life due to that type 2 diabetes, most of it from cardiovascular disease, but also from cancer deaths and other deaths. 